Designing a Notebook for Makers and Writers Years ago, my students kept journals that I expected them to write in each week. Journaling kept pens moving consistently, but there was a problem. Whenever we got busy, our journals were forgotten. I used to think that the solution lied in tightening up my calendar and our habits, but now I know the truth. Journaling just wasn't as rewarding as we needed it to be. Our journals remained empty because they weren't really necessary to our writing or our making lives. Our notebooks are very different tools and they've become really essential to our work together. Let's design one. You can share yours with your students and then help them create their own. As you move through this course, you'll learn how to use notebooks with writers very well, but for now, grab a composition book, four sheets of colored paper that you can use for dividers, I use green, blue, red, and yellow, a pair of scissors, a stapler, a glue stick, and a roll of packing tape. Divide your notebook into four sections, ideas, notes, tinkering, and reflection. Use four sheets of varied colored paper to create a divider for each section. Then design your cover using images and words and artifacts that inspire and define you. Finally, use strips of packing tape to protect your cover and don't forget to add your name and contact information to the first page in case your notebook is ever lost. The module for my course includes photos of my notebook cover and sections, as well as the charts that hang on our walls at the Western New York Young Writers Studio. Don't be afraid to create your own notebook structure, though. After all, our notebooks meet the needs of the writers and the makers that I support. Your kids will be very different, and that's a good thing.